Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at a um, Moon Knight number one by Bill Sienkiewicz. And this is actually, it's a uh, True Believers reprint, um, so that's why it says Bushman on it, but it's just a reprint of Moon Knight number one. Um, I've been a huge fan of uh, Bill Sienkiewicz forever, probably since uh, New Mutants, which this is before New Mutants. So it's fun to look at his older art, and this is written by... Doug Mensch. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I should know it since I'm definitely familiar with seeing the name as he's uh, written a lot of great stuff over the years. And Bill, Bill and Frank S. are listed as the anchors, so I don't know who Frank S. is, but maybe it's a, a relative of Bill Sienkiewicz, uh, and that's why they have the same initial. I don't know. But anyway, this is pretty much from when Bill was still heavily influenced by Neil Adams. He was known as the Neil Adams clone. And it's funny because uh, a lot of comic artists to this day too come in, you know, on the coattails of other artists and sort of, you know, that's a really cool voodoo looking design. Um, but anyway, uh, so he was known as the Neil Adams clone and then you know, he pretty much branched out into his own crazy style. And uh, now I'm sure artists are influenced by him, but um, he had to pretty much break himself of being an Adams clone. And it's funny because you can definitely see the influence here for sure. I mean, I'm not saying that I couldn't tell the difference between him and Neil Adams, but you can definitely see the influence. I always thought Moon Knight was such a great character. I mean, he's dark white and he lives in darkness. So um, I think they have plans to bring him to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which would be, it's an about time kind of thing. Because even though his comic books seem to waver in and out of popularity, I think that people generally like him and find him to be a cool character. Large part, I think, is due to Bill Sienkiewicz. He really made this character his own. So that was just a quick look at Moon Knight number one, this reprint here. Art looking fantastic on this paper. These uh, Dollar True Believer reprints are great. If you guys ever see them, you should definitely pick them up. It's worth the seeing the art printed on great paper, especially if it's something old like this from the newsprint days. Anyway, so thanks for taking a minute to check it out with me. Hit subscribe and like, and I'll bring you some more later. All right, thanks, guys.